Hey guys, it's Deepak here again from Meet My Tutor. So, um, my friend Sharif is out here with me at the moment, and it's actually the first time that he's ever been away traveling. He asked me like a really, really good question that I thought I'd share with you, I'd sh and then share with my answer with you um, before we left. And he was like, dude, you know, what's what's the deal with traveling? You know, why are you such a fan of it? Why is it such a, you know, why do you want it to be a big part of your, your life? Why have you got all these tax on your arm that relate to traveling and all this kind of stuff, you know? What's the deal? Um, and uh, I'm 27 now, right? I'm going to be 28, like, in, in August. Uh, and um, I first went away when I was 18, and I was just like, let, let, me, let me try and recreate and share the answer that I shared with him and why I think that traveling should be an integral part of your life. And I don't mean fucking going to your local club or going to one city outside of where you're from. I mean leaving the country to a place where they speak another language and making attempts to try and speak the language, but also mainly just mainly meet new people and have different experiences that you wouldn't have at home, wherever home is for you, right? And um, let me try and recreate the answer now. I was like, dude, traveling is amazing. I mean, I imagine being, imagine being 18 years old, being um, on Fraser Island, which is a small island off the east coast of Australia, being on a four-day camping tour where you get a jeep to drive around the island you're sitting around a campfire it's a warm night a beach in australia you can see all the stars in the sky there's like 10 12 people around this campfire and you've got an australian frenchman swiss dutch german swedish canadian american everyone speaking the international language which in my case thankfully is of course english and you're just talking about life, travel, different experiences and culture and, you know, you maybe barbecued some chicken or you've got some fucking marshmallows over the fire, someone's playing a guitar. You can't get those experiences with that diversity of people where you grow up, unless you're some kind of lucky son of a gun. But it's absolutely amazing. And, you know, you don't, you don't get access to those kinds of experiences and interests when you're at home in the same city. Um, now imagine being able to skydive, bungee jump, scuba dive, and taking the power of the pound, if you know, you're a British listener listening in, or even, you know, taking the power of your earnings and going to a place where it's just a lot cheaper, going to Southeast Asia, being able to get so much bang, so much more bang for your buck, I'm realizing the pun now, um, then you would, if you're at home, um, just traveling the world and having the experience of being away and making good friends with someone who's, you know, I met when I was 18 as well. His name was Josh. He was a photographer from San Francisco, but he was living in Buenos Aires. I was 18. He was like 31, maybe. And it was just like, dude, you've lived a completely different life for me on the other side of the world on a different continent. And you're 10 years older than me, but we grew up on the same block the same street, the same roads, in the same city, we would have been friends for sure. And um, that is what has got my buddy over here now with me. So um, if you've not yet really actively considered it, I please, please beg you, save up a couple of thousand pounds and piss off to somewhere cheap for a couple of months. And I promise you it will change your life and only for the better. Go traveling. See you guys.